Well, Auntie Tab, some of these flavors are a little unique. And you really must just know that the girls is gonna buy it regardless. Then I can have this like nike sweatsuit with my cute little fuchsia pink coat on it's very much so giving very much so giving all of that you know what i mean so anywho i am headed to target because auntie tab got a new line of stuff and i gotta check it out she got cookware she got food she got teas she got vegan foods girl let me go check it out now, I feel like I am a good person to review the vegan foods because I'm a flexitarian. I could eat vegan foods. There are some vegan foods that I enjoy. I don't mind going without meat, okay? So, I'm not a person who only eats meat. And I'm gonna be like, ew, this ain't right, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna give it a honest review, okay? But anywho, I got to go to the store to buy the stuff first. So let's go to the store and buy all the goods. I'm gonna show you everything that my Target has. And then in another video, I will review and sample all of the food items that I purchased. Okay, let's get to the store. Okay, I'm walking up in this store, very much so giving Republican. Cause I'm not gonna wear a mask because I want to make sure that y'all can see all of my facial expressions and hear all of my words. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. We're not here to talk about this stuff. But Target got Caraway now. sense for her to have her own section and not be mixed up with the other stuff but let's see what we got here so she has organic lemon balm tea for relaxation i am actually low on a lot of my teas so i will be buying these she has an echinacea elderberry probably gonna skip that i don't think that i like elderberry very much and then on our an organic dandelion nettle tea all of these are herbal teas and they all appear to be caffeine free which is really good if you are prone to anxiety because anxiety and caffeine do not mix oh her cookware and stuff is over in this section as well i like this salt and pepper it's her little dog what's the name of the dog i can't remember the name Ch not chance that's her husband but it's so cute i think that this would be so cute at my desk um because you know sometimes you're like dang i need a little bit more salt in this food or whatever this is so cute and then she has these bowls these bowls are seven dollars each you know she is a super colorful person so all of her stuff is going to have a lot of patterns a lot of colors all of that so this is probably going to be the most basic as far as the color scheme then this mug take care of yourself for seven dollars target mugs are usually about five dollars four or five dollars so this is kind of on par but it's interesting because it has this little loop right here right 
And then next up is this with her dog on it again. This is so cute, but it has this um, gold looking rim. So I'm not sure if this can be microwave. Oh, it does say microwave safe. This is $7 as well. So these are your two mugs. I like this a lot. This is a glass water bottle with a straw. I would only drink water out of bottles that have straws because they get really gross. This is really nice glass. I only see one, so maybe people took all of the other ones, but this is super cute. I would keep this at my desk or by my bed stand. If you are in the market for a lunch bag, she has this super colorful lunch bag. Um, it does not have handles though. It's just a fold and drop inside. This is what the lunch bag looks like not very ideal at least not to me not convenient not ideal um unless you are just going on like a little picnic or a little road trip and you're just going to throw some snacks in a bag but otherwise mm -mm, no she does have some kitchen towels these appear to be ten dollars Ooh, they are thick very good quality look at that and then the inside very very cute very nice and then she has the matching oven mitt as well the oven mitt is ten dollars kitchen towel ten dollars as well and then some spatulas that says sheena's cousin not sure what that means but i do have a line sister named sheena so <laughs> and then the little spatula with the silicone this is it's probably $10. How much is this one? This doesn't have a price on it either. These are probably $10. That's my guess. This is some type of kitchen item as well. A felt trivet. I think this is what you put hot things on so they don't mess up your counters, right? I don't know. But the inside of all of her products has this little tag thing with her picture that says hello there and then a message. I'm not about to read the whole thing. This trivet is $8. Is this free? What is this? I don't see a price, but it's like a little magazine. Her picture's on it. Husband, front and center. Stuff inside. So yeah, she has like cast iron pans too, I guess. Really nice. I don't see any cast iron pans over here, but they could be gone. Also look online for a lot of this stuff if you're in store, if your store doesn't have it because y'all know Auntie Tab is popular, okay? All of her stuff is going to fly off of the shelf. I'm su well, I was gonna say I'm surprised there's anything left here, but I live in the white suburbs. So there's that. And this is the last page. So it looks like it's like a catalog of all of her stuff. This is a big old water bottle. This is 64 ounces, double wall vacuum insulated, hand wash only. Do not see a price. My guess is that it is $25, $30. That's my guess. It says, yes, you can. The other side is blank. And then she has this table runner as well. Blue, gold, looks like cream with the tassels on the end. These tassels are very much so Target, very much so Target. Now let's get into some of these snacks, Pooh. Um, this is a vegan chimichurri. The base is canola oil and water, which um, is going to be like a mayonnaise base is my guess. The canola oil is what's gonna keep it from being, um, oh, it's the pea protein that's gonna keep it from having animal product because they're likely using that instead of like mayo eggs. I do not want that. She also has a vegan lemon garlic aioli spread. Y'all know she loves her some garlic, okay? Again, the base is canola oil. So this is, it says that it's perfect for adding to, to sandwiches, bowls, or roasted vegetables. And aioli is usually a base of mayonnaise with something else in it. So that's this. She had another spread, but I don't see one. Oh, here we go. Vegan truffle. Oof, do not like truffle. Vegan truffle flavored garlic spread. 
So there you go. If you like truffle, truffle, I can't get over the smell, y'all. I can't do it. So I think I might actually do the vegan lemon garlic and then the vegan chimichurri. I will let y'all know. So I got that okra because I really like okra. Then she has the vegan garlic. I think that I'm really gonna like that lemon, lemon peppered one because, or lemon flavored. Yeah, vegan peppered lemon. That's gonna be amazing. Vegan garlic, I mean, these would be really good on a charcuterie board or if you um, like making sandwiches as a little side for your sandwiches. Definitely gonna grab both of these. Girl, I done messed around and missed this little um, tray divided plate for you know if you're hosting or whatever blue on this side this color like all of this stuff is like fun and whimsical even like the packaging on the foods is fun and whimsical so come and check it out but let's get back to this food she has vegan salt and vinegar cashews there is a um salt and vinegar almond that i love so i will be grabbing these so cute right packaging is everything she has this vegan black garlic dry roasted mixed nuts i'm going to skip this a lot of her stuff is heavy on the garlic even her spice in um the sunshine seasoning is heavy on the garlic i have a video about that i'll include that for you all to look at um i'm gonna skip this this does not sound like my cup of tea but she has a trail mix it's vegan cherry and granola trail mix it has granola interesting mixed with the peanuts dry sweetened cherries pepitas which is pumpkin seeds and pecans or pecans now one of the downsides is that this does have cotton seed oil in it which is a very very cheap oil so FYI, like cottonseed oil is like one of the cheapest oils. This is not like really doing all of that fun. Then she has some popcorns. I'm a popcorn snob because I make really good popcorn on the stove and I am very particular about my white cheddar um, popcorns. This is a vegan sweet and salty organic popcorn. I do like the fact that it is organic because popcorn is very GMO. All corn is very GMO. So this is sweet and salty. So ingredients, organic popcorn, organic high oleic sunflower oil, organic raw cane, sugar, Himalayan salt. It's not doing it for me. It's just sugar and salt that makes it, you know, the sweet and salty. Next up is vegan roasted garlic and Parmesan. Maddie, I'm a geek. The fact that they are saying that the garlic flavor is roasted, which means it's gonna have like extra flavor, I am all in. This has a few more ingredients. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Organic, vegan, roasted garlic and Parmesan type seasoning. So that would be interesting to see if, although it's vegan, if the Parmesan flavor, that umami is still coming out in this. Last but not least for the popcorn, she has a vegan dill pickle. I like pickles. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna give y'all an honest review. Cause I don't know. I don't know about no, I don't know about no pickle popcorn. But I have had a pickle chip that I did enjoy. Okay? So it says organic dill pickle seasoning. So that means that it's gonna have some vinegar in the flavor, okay? So we're gonna get us a world, Auntie Tab. Some of these flavors are a little unique. And you really must just know that the girls is gonna buy you regardless. If it ain't good, I'm gonna let y'all know, okay? That's all that my Target got up in here. So I'm gonna film the video of me doing a taste test of all of these snacks. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be honest. Cause if the vegan snacks ain't popping, Auntie Tad might have to give us some regular stuff with some cheese, some chicken flavor. Okay, let's get to it. So this is where all of her refrigerated stuff was and I did wanna try some of these products as well. So a vegan strawberry cream cheese sounds delicious. A vegan garlic cream. 
cream cheese, and then a vegan caramelized onion, which sounds amazing as well. So I might get the vegan caramelized onion, the vegan strawberry. She has a vegan, let me stop saying vegan because we know that by now, a sweet pea and basil ravioli skip. I do not like peas. She had a pizza pasta, I guess. And then, oh, this is the hummus. I am very particular about my hummus. This is a jalapeno lime. Interesting combo for a hummus. And then this lemon garlic, lemon garlic dill hummus. So this was the vegan meat. I don't see the uh, uh, pasta salad, vegan lemon pasta salad. This orzo pasta, I like orzo. Um, what's in it? Made with orzo pasta, tomatoes, yellow bell peppers, garlic, and a lemon sauce. strawberry cream cheese and then the caramelized onion and these are four dollars each you know what i didn't think i was gonna get it but i'm gonna go ahead and get this because who else makes a jalapeno lime hummus nobody <laughs> so i'm gonna just try this and see what it's hitting on so i'm gonna get this and i'm gonna put protein oh no 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 that's about to be nasty why they put that in there ew why does this have chickpea protein i feel like it's about to be gritty if this stuff is messy i might have to return it mm -hmm. okay this is my cart full of stuff i got basically like one of all of the important things you know what i mean this is a good little mix. So let's get the heck up out of here. Okay, y'all, 45 um, dollars later, I am done buying all of my Tabitha Brown products from Target. I hope that she does phenomenal. Her spirit is light, it's beautiful, it's relaxing, consoling, all of that. I really hope that she does well. I do plan on giving you an honest review though, regardless of how fond of her I am um, I am a little let down that they did not have that butternut squash soup because that was the um, one prepared food item that I was actually interested in but the girl sold it out I am very happy that it was sold out it came to Target on June 9th no no not June January 9th so wow it's only a few days later and it's gone I did like that they have all of her stuff sectioned off that is what I needed because I just wanted to look at all of her stuff only so I will catch y'all in the next video which will be my review of all of the products make sure that you stay tuned until next time bye